But uh, welcome to all of you. Um, a special welcome as well if you are visiting with us today. Um, if you're here to support friends and family, especially if you don't usually go to church, we just want to welcome you and honor you. Thank you for being here to support your loved one. Just feel at home. We are very much a family here. Uh, we love doing things with Jesus and things even this morning you'll see will be fun and can get a bit messy. You guys in the front shouldn't get wet, so you should be okay. Uh, but uh, us in here, we definitely will be getting wet. But thank you so much for joining with us. We just expect that Jesus is going to do some incredible things. My name is Andre. I'm one of the leaders here at Linkway. And uh, what's going to be happening this morning as we baptize five different people is a testimony of the fact that Jesus has changed their lives. Hallelujah. And so the thing that happens in scripture that we see as just the normal course of life is someone would put their faith in Jesus and then they would be baptized as a testimony of what Jesus has already done in them. So as they go into this water, there's nothing special about the water. They're not getting saved right now as they go into the water. They are testifying to all of us that they are already saved because they put their faith in Christ, they receive the spirit, and today they say to everyone, look, my old life is gone. I'm living this new life in Jesus. And so the reason we do this is Jesus told us to do it. Yeah, you can give him a praise offering. Every single life here represents the work and the presence of Jesus. And we do this because he commanded us to do it. Jesus himself was baptized. And then we see throughout the early history of the church, the normal course of life would be the disciples of Jesus would baptize those that put their faith in him. So that's why he tells us, go into all the world, make disciples and baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And so we're gonna be celebrating with these folk today as they give us that testimony. So the guys that are hiding behind the door, you can come on out. They know what you look like already. So uh, you guys can come and line up. And Nathan, you can come down and come and join me get acclimatized to the water. <laughs> so Nathan's going to be going first for us today. And uh, it's really a privilege every single time we get to baptize someone. And friends and family, you are welcome to. If you want to take some photos, you can obviously watch this back on YouTube a bit later. But you're welcome to come and see a little bit closer, get some photos. We really don't mind. Um, but <laughs> even the kids want to see. We've got to stop them from getting in here. Um, <laughs> But uh, Nathan, it's just an awesome privilege for me to get to baptize you today. The thing that we say to everyone coming through the waters of baptism is that the only thing you need to be baptized is faith in Jesus. And so the only thing we ask them in the water as a confirmation to all of you of what's already happened in their lives is this question. Do you believe that Jesus is the Son of God and are you declaring to everyone here that you have put your faith in Him? Yes. Okay, well because of your faith in Jesus and because you want to be baptized, I get to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Oh, Francois. Good, you remembered the glasses. <laughs> I've been so excited to see what the Lord has been doing in your life. And like we've said before, this is a season where God is refreshing you and renewing you. And this statement to everyone here of your faith in Jesus is really a powerful one. Um, and so like I've asked Nathan, I'm going to ask you the same question. Do you believe that Jesus is the Son of God? And do you declare to everyone here that He is your Lord and Savior? Yes. Okay. Because of your confession of faith and because you want to be baptized, I get to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. that's bringing a towel for someone or something like that, you're welcome to also just come to the front and just, you know, barge your way in there with family. <laughs> and you can see, by the way, you can see. You see, you've seen and heard now everything that's happened here. Do you confess in front of all these people that you believe that Jesus is the Son of God and that you've put your faith in Him receiving His forgiveness? Yes, I do. Okay. Because of your confession of faith and because you want to be baptized, and I get to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
And so today is also really special. Uh, we're not baptizing both of them at the same time. Lauren and his mom is here in the water. Uh, can't fit everyone in the pool, so we don't have the entire family here. Uh, but mom is here to support Zoe Jane, and it's very exciting that we get to baptize you as well. Baptism is not about age. We don't believe that it's adult baptism. We believe in believer's baptism. So the age is not the important factor. The factor, as you've heard, is your faith in Jesus. And so Zoe Jane, in front of all these people, do you believe that Jesus is God? And do you want to say to all these people that you love him and you trust him? Yes. Okay. Because of your faith in Jesus and because you want to be baptized, I get to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> why you need a, a long baptismal pool. <laughs> One of the most encouraging things for us as people who love Jesus, and especially for those of us that work in the kingdom and ministry in one form or another, is being able to see people of any age, every age, have their lives transformed by Jesus. And so for me, it gives me especially a huge sense of hope and courage that our next generation of people, even as we've just witnessed with Zoe Jane, the Spirit is working in our next generation. We see people come to faith. We see people walking with Jesus. And that encourages me so much as a younger man who loves Jesus, serving Jesus. So I'm going to ask you the same question I've asked everyone. Do you believe that Jesus is the Son of God? And do you confess to all these people that you've accepted Him as your Lord and Savior? Yes. Okay. Because of your faith in Jesus, you can put your hands together here. Because of your faith in Jesus and because you've asked to be baptized, I get to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you. 